Well, you like that rice, but you don't like the calories. There may be a solution for that, and surprisingly from the American Chemical Society. Now keep in mind you hear American Chemical Society, it doesn't involve chemicals unless you want to consider coconut a chemical. Hypothetically it is, but you know what I mean. So this is what they discovered. They found out that they can actually reduce the amount of calories your body absorbs from rice down to about, or I should say down to or up to, however you want to look at it, 60%. So in short, reduce the amount of calories absorbed by that bowl of rice by up to 60%. Cutting it in half, a little bit more. This is what they did. At the 249th National Exposition of the American Chemical Society this March 2015, the researchers released information on how to exactly do that. And here we go. Now keep in mind, it involves something called resistant starch. What they're doing through this cooking method is actually creating more non-digestible starch in that rice. Meaning it may yield other health benefits, even beyond that it just reduces the calories down. All right, let us proceed to exactly how they cooked it. Now remember, for research sake, we'd like to stick to exactly how they did it because this is how they got the results. Also two, the up to 60% means if you use the most resistant starch variety of rice. And please correct me if I'm wrong, I'm not familiar with the pronunciation. The most resistant form that may be out there is one called Superior. I'm not a rice expert, but you get in mind. You'll get an idea. Supiri Samba. S-U-P as in Paul, I-R-I, Samba, S-A-M-B-A. It reduced the calorie absorption of regular rice, uh, you know, your white basically stuff that you find in the grocery store is down by about 15%. But for the resistant starch methods, uh, like the Superior Samba, if I'm pronouncing it right, up to 60%. So here we go. This is how they cooked it. So generally, what they did is they took one spoon of coconut oil, added it to a pot of boiling water. They didn't specify the size of the pot, so please forgive me on regards to that. They added a half a cup of rice to that one teaspoon of coconut oil in the boiling water. They let the rice simmer for 40 minutes. Now the researcher said that you also, if you would like to, you can boil the water for 20 to 25 minutes. Now here's where the magic comes together between the rice, the teaspoon of coconut oil, and refrigeration. What they did is they then took that rice, put it in the refrigerator for 12 hours. And this is what happens in the terms of the researchers. Here we go. They said the cooling is essential because the amylose, the soluble part of the starch, leaves the granules during gelatinization. Now here's where it gets a little technical. Cooling for 12 hours will lead to the formation of hydrogen bonds between the amylose molecules outside the rice grain, which also turns into resistant starch. Remember that magic word again, resistant starch, non-digestible, basically inactivated into calories. Reheating the rice for consumption doesn't make uh, or does not change that resistant starch level, meaning it's not going to affect the amount of calories that are being blocked or not absorbed from the way you cook the rice. Now the researchers, what they utilized is they microwaved it. I know I'm not crazy about microwaving, but sticking to the way the researchers did it, they microwaved it because even the microwaving, to some extent, raised the levels of RS even a little higher. But reheating and things like that, seems like it may work just as fine. But again, the researchers reheated the rice through microwave. Now keep in mind, you have to use that amount of coconut oil to the ratio to a half a cup of rice because coconut oil, if you use too little, it's not going to create as much of this bonding effect, and therefore you're not going to block or bind up as many calories uh, in that rice as you would like to. Too much coconut oil, and then since coconut oil is calorie dense, you're going to lose that calorie advantage in the rice that you're trying to reduce the calorie absorption down in. Now the cool part about it is manufacturers can do this on an industrial scale eventually if they would like, and it can even apply to certain things like pasta, potatoes, you name it, any other starchy food. And then just by doing something simple, by adding coconut oil to it in the warming process or heating process, and then simply cooling it so this bonding or resistant starch levels begin to rise through a very simple and natural chemical process. Bon appetit!
We're off Church Channel, signing off. Oh, and I'm gonna link the video to the Maryland, down to the American Chemical Society's, uh, I would say, uh, announcement in regards to this research. They'll explain a little bit more in detail. But for here, I'll leave the cooking method down below and keep it kind of simple. Again, signing off. Hope this helps. Thank you.